Compromising your terms for a woman is the beginning of the end. All right, guys, let's dive right into this. Um, this video is somewhat of a follow-up to my last one. If you guys missed the last video, it's one video back on the channel. Be sure to check that one out. Uh, I'm going to hit on some points I covered in that one, but uh, a lot of the stuff in this video is going to be new. So, um, yeah, so let's, let's dive in. So you always want to, this is something I talked about in the last video, this first point here. Guys, you always want to sub-communicate to women that you are in demand by other women. Okay, that you're dating a lot of women and a lot of women uh, see you as a guy worthy of spending their time with. Okay, that other women want to be seen with. Okay, you always want to sub communicate that to every woman that you're dating, that you're in demand. Because women want men that are pre selected by other women. All right, and to pull this off, you actually need to be dating several different women, okay, at the same time. Um, I, you know, ideally at least, well, not ideally, but at least two of them, okay? Um, you never want to only be dating one woman, and the reason for that is because when you make mistakes with that woman you're dating, you're gonna make all those mistakes on that one woman, which, over time, those will add up and they will cost you. Um, you'll also become emotionally uh, invested in her. You'll become invested in the relationship. And whatever you become invested in, especially if it's an emotional investment, you become a, you know somewhat of a slave to, basically, because when anytime something goes wrong with whatever you're invested in, it can throw an enormous wrench in your day and throw your mission and your plans completely out of whack. So never a good idea to put all of your emotional eggs in one basket, okay? And we're gonna talk more about that as we go through this video. So get yourself to a point, guys, where it takes you hours to text a girl back. This is a general, it's a, a general guideline, okay? It's not a hard and fast rule. You don't have to do this every time a girl texts you and you shouldn't even try to do this. That's the point I was about to, to get into here is you want to set your life up to where it actually does legitimately take you a while to get back with women, okay? In other words, you shouldn't be trying um, to take a certain number of minutes or hours to respond to girls when they message you or call you. That's not something you should be planning or thinking about. That should just come as a natural result of you chasing excellence and you chasing your mission, okay? So you wanna set your life up to where that is the natural result of you, you know, being on your purpose. Okay, and when you set your life up this way and you are seeing, you start dating and seeing several women, what it's going to do, what, you're basically going to be busy all the time. Okay, you're always going to be doing something. And so you not getting back to them right away every single time they reach out to you, whether it's by text or phone call or social media or whatever, what that does is that will start to instill a sense of dread in the girl. Um, and you want the girl, the girls, I should say, you want them to feel a sense of dread, that dread feeling every now and then. Now, if you guys don't know what dread game is, check out the video I did on that. It was a year or two ago. I have that linked down in the description below. I've got a whole video on dread game. So check that out if you're not familiar with that. Um, but what dread does, what, you know, when a woman feels that is it essentially stimulates what's called competition anxiety in the woman and competition anxiety 
is the number one thing that will keep a woman interested in you, all right? When a woman knows that you're a high value man and that you're in demand with other women, you become a scarce resource to her, okay? You become scarce because that's what, that's what being scarce is. It's, it's not abundant. It's just what it's not. It's just what the, what the term says. You're only available every so often and it's not always predictable to her when, when those times will be. <clears throat> um, and you want to remain as unpredictable as possible when it comes to the women in your life. Um, all right, let's see. She knows she's only going to get so much of you, all right, after three or four weeks into dating you, okay? And what that's going to communicate to her, what that's going to make her realize subconsciously is that, you know, too many wrong moves on her part, um, too many slip-ups, whether she says something you don't like or does something you don't like, which we're going to talk more about here in a minute. But too many of those could very easily mean that you're going to drop her, okay? Because she'll instinctively know that you don't have time or the inclination to tolerate, um, you know, bad behavior from her, essentially. So she'll instinctively know that about you in large part because of how busy she knows you are and therefore how valuable your time is, but also because of the fact that you simply don't need or have to tolerate bad behavior from women, which I mentioned. She should have, she should already have a strong vibe from you that, you know, you could take her or leave her basically um, because of what you've subconsciously communicated to her. All right. And she'll start to realize this about I would say anywhere from four to 12 weeks in, usually. Uh, some women realize this about you quicker than others. It takes a few weeks for these realizations to really sink in, okay? Because, you know, getting to know somebody, whether you're getting to know them or they're getting to know you, it takes time. So she won't realize these things right away, okay? Understand that it will take several weeks but you know ideally if you're meeting attractive women that you vibe with and you like you want to keep them around for a while right so so that's the vibe she should get from you all right another vibe she should get from you is that you enjoy her company all right because if you if she is attractive and you do vibe well with her then you obviously will enjoy her company and you want her to know that. But, you know, you also want her to know that you could take her or leave her, basically. So it's sort of this, you're communicating two different things at once, essentially, and that's going to drive her crazy. And it's not, it takes a while to work up the skill to be able to pull that off. Um, it takes years, most likely, of dealing with women before you can get to a point where you're able to do this. But date enough of them and, and do this long enough and you guys will be able to do this eventually. So you wanna communicate both of these vibes to her at the same time, which is gonna drive her nuts because she'll never quite be able to put her finger on why you are like this or how you are like this which is what I mean is high value enough to act like this, right? A man that communicates these kinds of attitudes and vibes to a woman is so rare and uncommon that she'll want to hold on to you for as long as she can, okay? Because it's scarce and it's not very often that she runs into a guy that can communicate this to her, okay? So here's the next point I want to hit. Women need to be humbled every now and then. What do I mean by that? Well, you guys should know what, what being humbled means. It basically means you bring them down to earth. You get their head out of the clouds, okay? And here's how you do this. 
all right? To bring a woman down to earth every now and then, and women do need this, especially nowadays. They just don't know they need it, but they need it. The way you do this is, in the sense that I'm describing, is you do not let anything she says or does move you too far from your center, all right? You do not let it affect your terms, okay? And you have to know and decide what your terms are to begin with. So if you haven't done that yet, that's the first thing you should do. Decide what you are and aren't willing to put up with or tolerate, okay? And once you know what those terms are, you need to stick by them. Now, of course, this is much easier said than done at first, okay? But what I mean by this is you just simply don't let anything she says or does that you don't like affect your terms, okay? Or your emotional center. And that's, that's the part that I mean is easier said than done at first, okay? It takes time to cultivate this, but you know, if you're aware of it, number one, and you focus on it intently, Number two, you, you will, it won't take too long for you to get yourself to a point where you can do this, what I'm describing here. So if a woman tells you, because I talked about this in my last video, if a woman you're seeing tells you, you know, things aren't working out for whatever reason, fine. Don't let that affect your emotional center. Don't let that, that affect your terms, okay? One woman telling you this should be easy for you to for you to receive easy for you to deal with in the sense that you know when you're seeing several women at the same time okay big deal um if anything kind of like i mentioned in the last video it should almost come as a relief to you okay because because of how busy you should be um and on top of that when you're doing what i said to do um previously and I, again I do encourage you guys to check the last video out because it, it kind of ties in a lot to what I'm talking about here but one thing I, another thing I said to do is be meeting three new women a day all right now this might slow down when you are at the point where you're consistently seeing three or four women at once I don't necessarily think you need to keep meeting three women every single day when you're already you know when you already have a rotation of like four women that you're seeing every week, but um, you still at least should be meeting one new woman a day, okay? Whether or not that turns into anything is, is a different story, but you don't want your game to rust, okay? You don't want your conversational skills um, to rust because they rust very quickly when you don't use them, okay? Um, so if you're meeting three new women every day, uh, which which you can do through day game or online game or the occasional night game if that's your thing uh, there's also social circle game you're constantly meeting new women and you're constantly dating other women at the same time that you're dating a particular girl all right so you're not affected you're not emotionally affected by something like that when a woman throws that at you because women are going to drop off they're going to meet guys they want to get exclusive with that they want to date when they realize you're not going to be that guy they're going to drop off and you have to be ready for that so um as far as you know i'm concerned guys these days you know all the women i meet i meet throughout the course of my day going about my day while i'm out uh, as well as online so day game and online game are my two sources of meeting women. Now, I don't partake as much anymore in night game, though when I was younger I used to. Um, but, you know, a, a little hint for you guys watching this, if you're a young single man watching this, which most or at least half of you are, right? Move to a big city with a lot of pedestrian traffic. Okay, that's a that's a big tip right there for you. Okay, think somewhere that has outdoor parks, uh, outlet malls, cafe, a lot of cafes and coffee shops, ideally uh, bookstores. 
uh, pedestrian traffic. You want a highly populated city because that's where all the young hot women go, all right? And another reason you want to live in cities like this is because it, it motivates you. It tends to motivate you. At least it does for most guys. So um, there's a certain energy that comes with living in a big city. So um, that's just a little tip for you there. Now, going back to what we were talking about as far as humbling women, it, what it means essentially is you simply don't pedestalize them. All right, guys, you don't pedestalize them. You don't let their words or their actions affect you. Now, when, not if, but when she says and does something that, you know, bothers you, you have two options. You have, you have two responses that you can, that you can, two routes you can go as far as how to respond, okay? When a woman says or does something that really bothers you, and here they are, all right? The first one is, the first option you have, first response is called the soft next. Now, this is something I learned from Caleb Jones, who also goes by Black Dragon. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Uh, if not, I encourage you to go check his, his material out. It's very good. Um, but he, I believe he came up with this, the soft, it's called the soft next. And basically what it is, is you basically, you ignore her for like three or four days, sometimes longer, sometimes up to usually uh, anywhere from 24 hours to a week, seven days is, is how he describes it. Okay. Uh, rarely does it last longer than that. Okay, uh, and, it, and it should never be shorter than 24 hours if you're going to do this. And the way you do it is you completely ignore her text messages, her voicemails, even if they're tearful, emotional voicemails, and her DMs on you know Instagram or any other form of social media, Facebook, whatever. You completely ignore her and act like she doesn't exist for. 48 hours, um, three full days, four full days, or in extreme cases, up to seven days a week, all right? Um, let's see. And this is not as easy to do as it sounds, all right? But these are your terms, okay? And you're going to stand by them. This is exactly what I've been telling you guys in these throughout these last couple videos, all right? If you have to block her texts, then that's what you have to do. You have to block her. You need to make her think. You need to make her worry and be dreadful, feel that dread feeling that you are gonna completely drop out of her life and never come back. She needs to worry about that, okay? You cannot give her what she wants. What she wants is a reaction out of you. She wants attention and she wants a reaction out of you when this happens, when she throws tantrums, okay? And you can't give in to her demands. It, it, it takes balls to do this. It takes patience to do this. But if and when a woman really pisses you off or steps out of line, guys, then this is the most effective thing you can do. It is. I've tried it. Um, you know, so f it, I've got nothing but good things to say about it. Um, now I will say I've only I've only tried this a couple times because this is something I only first learned about uh, a few months ago. I haven't known about Caleb Jones for too long, so I have I've done this with a couple of the girls, but um, you know, and there was some I tried to do it with that you know it I, I compromised on my terms exactly what I wasn't supposed to do. So it might take you a time or two before you decide, okay, I'm not fuck, you know, I'm not messing this one up. I'm going to stick to this one. So commit to it, commit to doing this. If this is the route you're going to take, cause I have another option for you here in a second. Okay. So this one is very, very effective. Okay. Um, let's see. I, my suggestion is 48 hours to full days, 48 hours. Okay, to reinitiate contact, that's what I did. Um, that seemed to work really well. I don't think 24 hours is quite enough. Of course, if it's not as serious, you know, if you're not as pissed, you could shorten it. But, you know, 
two to four days is, is, is the normal length for this, all right? So um, if you guys want more information on soft neck stain, I have a link uh, in the description below that will take you to a video where he goes into complete detail on soft neck stain. Neck stain. So after this video, I encourage you to watch that. It's a bit passive aggressive, guys, but you cannot let women know that they got to you, all right? That's the main thing with this is the minute you've let a woman know that she got to you, okay, emotionally, then she knows from that point on, okay, on some level that she has the ability to get that reaction out of you, okay? She has the ability to do that because now she has proof, right? And when you get emotional, when you get angry, sad, whatever the case is, it costs you your precious time and energy, which you only get so much of every day, right? And you cannot afford, guys, to expel these precious resources on women. You cannot. You need to keep your time and your emotional and mental energy for you, all right, for your mission. You can't be expelling that on women, all right? And here's the second option, option number two. Here's another thing you could do. When a woman says or does something that really pisses you off, tell her you think the two of you need to move on and that this isn't working out, okay? You've probably had a woman say this to you before and you probably can already see, before I even go into this, how this is gonna be effective, right? Because the other way around, when a woman said that to you, it probably worked in the sense that it got you to correct yourself, okay? As far as her, you know, her opinion was concerned, whatever it is you, she thinks you did wrong. But when you flip the script on her and you say this to her, it does the same thing. Okay, first of all, no other guy she's ever dated has probably said this to her, okay? And what's more important about it is what it communicates about you. What does it communicate about you when you say this? So again, she steps out of line, um, pisses you off, and you basically let her know that by saying, you know, not in an emotional, overly, you know, reactive way. You just say, look, I don't think this is working out, whatever her name is. Um, I think we need to, I think we need to part ways. All right. You don't think, you know, this is working out and you think it's time the two of you go your separate ways. All right. And you have to stand by your terms, guys. You cannot be afraid of losing her no matter how hot she is. All right. She has to know and feel, all right, within her that you are not afraid at all of losing her, okay? And this is the perfect way to communicate this to her using this. Only bad thing about this one is it is a bit more reactive, okay, in the sense that it depends on how you do it. You could very easily screw this up and come off as emotional or reactive, so you have to be very careful uh, even if you're just texting this to her, how it comes off, because people can, people can read and feel emotions in text messages. Okay, you may not realize that, but um, you can you can feel and sense emotions through text messages. You really can, and she might be able to pick that up from how you decide to word the text if if you go this route. So you got to be very careful. Um, it is just by its nature a bit more react. It, you know, it is more reactive than the first option I talked about, the soft next. But it's still effective. Okay, it's still effective. Uh, this is another one I've done. Um, you know, it, it kind of is whatever you think would work better for you. To try them both out. See how they work for you. One might one might work better for you than the other one. But those are two things you can do. Okay, and that will allow you to maintain your emotional center, guys. It will allow you to not compromise on your terms, okay? You'll hold true to your terms. And so, yeah, let's wrap this up. Let's conclude this, all right? So, 
Things always work out better in life, guys, when you diversify your options, okay? Um, and that's just as true with dating as it is with other things in life. When you don't put all your eggs in one basket, things seem to work out better, all right? And for some reason, people know that when it comes to money or, you know, investments or, um, whatever the case is, but people, guys, don't know that that applies to women in dating, all right? It, it's, it's the same concept, it's the exact same concept, all right? Don't put all your eggs in one basket, all right? Because when you do, you become emotionally invested in that basket, okay, which is the last thing you want. Women are drawn to men that are in demand by other women. This was another point I talked about. Women are a compliment to your life, guys. They aren't the focus, all right? Um, I think it was Rolla Tomasi that said that one, um, but that's just so, so true and something you should, you should always remember. Um, men who are committed to their missions and their true focuses in, in life, which are their most important goals and priorities, the top one of which should be your mission, which I talk about a lot here on the channel. These men don't have the time or the energy to let a woman they're seeing throw a wrench in their day, all right? Even if that's an emotional wrench, oftentimes it is, right? So instead, these men are so focused and high value men are what, what you should be striving to become, all right? or maintain if you're already there. High value men are so focused on their mission and their priorities that to even consider entertaining the drama one of their women is throwing at them is laughable, right? Um, that's really where you need to get to mentally. It should be laughable when, when one of your women starts to create, create, manufacture indignation as Richard Cooper likes to say. Um, so, or manufactured drama. Women do this, do these things, guys. That's why these guys talk about these things, because women have shown over time throughout history that they're capable of this kind of stuff, all right? So you have to, you have to think that's laughable. You have to be to a point in your head where, you know, like exactly what I just said, entertaining drama that one of them is throwing at you is a joke. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a joke. Um, and believe me guys, the women will try. The women will try, all right? The women will, te will test you, all right? To see if, you're, if you are who you're projecting yourself to be. They'll try to see, you know, if they're starting to get to you now, right? Um, and you have to maintain your center when that happens. Not if that happens, when that happens, because it will happen. And you have to have it within you guys to not allow them to take you off course. Because the minute you do, guys, the minute you do is the beginning of the end, all right? It's the beginning of the end. And you can expect hard times ahead of you, not for her, but for you, okay? Because when you guys break up, she's not gonna be the one um, that feels regretful and hurt. It's gonna be you. And the reason it's going to be you is because you got emotionally invested in her. You started to veer from your emotional center. You compromised your terms and you did the opposite of what I'm telling you to do in, in this video, okay? So, you got, you, you, can, you cannot compromise your terms, all right guys? Um, do not let a woman get to you emotionally. It will always, always end in disaster. All right, guys? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously when you guys like these videos. So smash that like button. Uh, more importantly than that, guys, if you did like this video, um, become a subscriber, okay, because I talk about Similar subjects to this, I talk about health and fitness every now and then, uh, supplements, even things like steroids in some of my videos. So uh, stuff you've never heard about, uh, I've got uh, 
you know, uh, cognitive performance enhancing stuff like Gorilla Mind and Modafinil and uh, Phenibut, uh is the proper way to say it. So, you know, I talk about a lot of, um, a lot of interesting stuff. So I encourage you guys to check out the other videos on the channel. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to become a subscriber. So hit subscribe. I mentioned Gorilla Mind also uh, by that company is, is this stuff right here, Gorilla Mode, which is a pre-workout. If you guys want to support my channel, support my work, one thing you could do is if you're working out and you should be working out, every high value man should be lifting weights. One thing that will really help you out is this pre-workout right here, Gorilla Mode. Okay, Gorilla Mode. Uh, this is the Tiger's Blood uh, flavor, which I really like. They've got other flavors. They've got ones now that have uh, stimulants in them. Um, I don't like the ones that have stims in them. I like the, the non-stimulant uh, non pre-workouts, but this is the best pre-workout I've ever used. It really is. Uh, you don't get jittery fr from it. Um, at least on the non-stim ones, you don't. Best pre-workout I've ever used. So if you guys want to grab that, uh, grab a, a bottle of this and use this before your workouts, I've got that in the second link down in the description below. That would help out the channel. So this is Matt Mitchell, guys. Hope you found the video helpful. Leave your questions or comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.